you got the you got the fix if you like you 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 know yeah. you the goal you you were there and then exactly you started to flourish in terms of an international career in it. and then unfortunately 2010 versus Wales 24 years of age it's a fairly innocuous moment in terms of like as a part and parcel of the game you know a tackle if you like um that that sort of changed your your whole world I mean for those people that don't know I mean just explain you know, what happened that day and and then equally how you know what the hell happened with Tom Evans's mind at that point it was, it was it's a real strange one Ollie because um the more I look back at that particular game the more it just the, there's so many different like uh you know uh things um that happened um what, what I mean by that is we we for starters in my opinion had our best Scotland 22 that I think had ever taken the field since since I've been involved in, in the squad going out to play Wales that day and I was just ecstatic to get on that pitch because I was like right we're finally going to show um, the whole rugby world you know what Scotland rugby is about because you know we're f from such a small pool of players that one or two injuries and it just affects the whole squad and that particular squad we had was, was the best possible squad I've been involved in you know, uh, Chris Patterson was getting his 100th cap. There were some really sort of monumental things um, going on. And I remember getting to the change room and thinking something massive is going to happen here, something huge. And it did. Like, you know, we started off the game. We were, like, totally dominant uh, over that Welsh side. Um, Dan Parks was, like, on fire with the boot. And we, I think we went, like, 15 nil up uh, after the first, like, 15 minutes, which was unheard of a Scotland team at that that sort of uh, um, time to, to be away from home, especially at a place like the Millennium Stadium. Mm -hmm. 